All right. Uh, hi everyone. Uh, hope your preparation is going really well for Scalar School of Technologies entrance process and and the other entrance exams that you might be giving. Now, as you know that we have recently started applications for the 2026 batch, and we have made certain tweaks to the application process, be it the video essay, the fast track route, or the NSET difficulty level. And in fact, like recently, we had done some AMAs in which we got some common questions. So this video today is going to clarify a lot on those changes, some common doubts that you have around those. My name is Manmeet Singh Akali. I am the program director at Scalar School of Technology. And don't worry, uh, you will have 100% clarity after you watch this video. Uh, now, first, let's start with the video essay. Now, in the video essay, all we are doing is we are asking you. Why do you want to study at Scalar School of Technology, and what do you want to achieve by being here for four years? Now, obviously, what are we looking for? We are looking for your intent. We are looking for your passion to study computer science, technology, and especially at Scalar School of Technology. Remember, this is a mandatory step, which means that you will not be able to access all your NSET preparatory material, be it PYQs, uh, previous year questions, uh, be it mock tests. Uh, once you submit uh, your video essay and book a slot, only then all of that gets unlocked. So this is mandatory. Now, where is this video essay going to be used by our admissions team, right? Now, number one, very clearly, the video essay will play an important role in the scholarship decision. Your passion will shine through when you are communicating with us. Second is that if there are two candidates and there is one seat, both have very identical scores. Now, in that scenario, the video essay comes in and that tells us about the candidate's passion over, let's say, some other candidate. So that's why also it is important for you to spend time on this step. Now, don't worry, we are not going to eliminate people basis this. This is just to strengthen your profile. Okay, it does not take too much time. It, it's maximum 30 minutes of work. We do not want you to be too prepared, right? It's absolutely okay to take the help of GPT as well, as long as the inputs to GPT are honest and unique. Use your life stories. Essentially, you can structure it like, what's your life story? What's your background? What you have done in school? Any achievements? If you have to add, why do you want to study technology? If there is a story there, please add that. And then why do you want to do it at SST specifically? These three segments, if you cover, it will not take more than five, six minutes for you to actually record it. Also, don't worry that you don't have to record it on our platform. You can ask someone from your family to record the video for you. It has to be a maximum of two minutes and you can upload that recording as well. So it's going to take 30 to 45 minutes of your time but it will unlock, it will actually help you only think about your life decisions so that you make the right call. So folks, uh, another question that we often get is, sir, but my English isn't that great. My communication skills aren't that great. Guys, y'all are just 18 year old. Some of y'all are from uh, not tier one cities and it's absolutely okay. We are teaching a computer science program. In fact, we have soft skills development over here. So we do not expect you to have great English. It's okay to use regional words. It's okay to fumble. It's okay to have an accent. Don't worry about any of that. Just do your best in telling your story. Another question is that how many times can I record this? Okay. Now, of course, you can record it on your own phone multiple number of times. Whenever you are happy with the output, you can then upload it on the platform. Uh, the next question is that, hey, but I'm a parent who is filling the form and my kid is uh, maybe at a hostel, etc, etc. Uh, again, don't worry, you can ask your kid to record uh, using their own phone, a friend's phone, teacher's phone and then share it with you and then you can upload it on the candidate's behalf. One more common question is that, do I need to redo the video essay in case I retake the exam? No, you submit the video essay once and then that stays throughout your application. All right, so I hope you're very clear with the video essay thought process and the effort it will need. So go ahead and do it immediately so that you can unlock your preparation resources to prepare for NSET. Now, let's come to the next set of questions, which is around the fast track process. What is the fast track process? Essentially, we are saying that there are other entrance exams that we trust, for example, JEE and SAT, these two, where in case you have done well in JEE, then we are saying that maybe you don't need to give the NSET entrance exam. However, you will directly be taken to the interviews. Everyone will have to give the interviews and are the interviews any different for these fast track folks? No, it's the same set of two interviews. Interview one is an AI interview, again on mathematics. And second interview is a human interview where industry professionals will interview you 
to test your math logic and again intent to join sst so that's the fast track process while filling the application form we ask you some of these details when you share this with us the application module uh, will tell you that if you are eligible for fast track or not the criteria to be eligible for the fast track is as follows 92 percentile and above in je mains 95 percentile and above in je sections that is maths and physics only or 1430 and above in sat now i hope this is clear on the fast track process and how it works why we are doing it uh, now for those of you all who already have a very good tech profile you might have been part of some atal tinkering lab or have been coding while in school uh, for such candidates you have to still give the nsct because we believe that mathematics is super important and and ours is a rigorous course but there uh, you might have an additional interview round for someone to gauge your passion and your depth of understanding of the projects that you have built so that's a great opportunity for you to get into sst via your tech achievements however for the others please note that 75% of people who come to scalar school of technology have zero coding experience and a lot of people ask me this that hey do i need to know coding do i need a tech background to get into sst the answer is absolutely no all you need is good mathematics and logical skills that's it if you have that the course is taught here in a way where it's taught from absolute basics and you will be able to do well here like so many of the other seniors that you have all right so the next set of questions are around scholarships so my family background is such and such will i get a scholarship how do i get it video essay is an important part of the scholarship because that helps us see your intent your passion for studying sst but uh, along with that on our website we have very clearly called out the criteria for scholarship uh, it goes as follows number 1 is your aptitude and academics how well you have done there and therefore fill your form very carefully uh, don't worry if you don't have your class 12 scores right now you can update it later in case you have any achievements in uh, competitive coding in any kind of development where you have built software which have been used by real users you have a good github profile let's say if you've done well in olympiads and olympiads should be by recognized bodies right at a very good uh, international or national scale if you already have some small startup if you are already an entrepreneur that's interesting for us if you have achievements in sports at a national international uh, level now also gender is looked at because we want to promote uh, female in tech and last but not the least is family income now what we have done is that uh, we give candidates scores across all of these buckets and then through a very competitive and objective process it is selected that from a particular intake who gets a scholarship and who does not and what is the quantum of that scholarship so i hope this clarifies that not just one parameter needs to be met which is let's say family income but it is a combination of all of these which decide if you get a scholarship to study at sst or not so the next set of questions is around nset preparation so while we are working on launching a video for 2026 in the meanwhile what you can do is check out the 2025 video the syllabus hasn't changed maybe the level of difficulty of questions might go up but for you to start preparing you can refer to this video that you see here it has all of the details there now coming to the final set of questions which is around degrees and career outcomes after sst sir i am convinced about sst how do i convince my parents don't worry we are here one you can request a call back by clicking this button here and once you do that a counselor will get in touch with you explain things to you so that you can explain it to your parents right additionally once you have an offer we will be there with you we will do couple of sessions so that your parents understand in the meanwhile till all of that happens look on degrees after every year at sst sst gives you a certificate which is nsdc certified national skills development corporation certified and students in parallel pursue a bsc honors from either bits pilani or a bs uh, from iit madras which means that students have all the skill sets that are needed to succeed in tech and become like a really skilled engineer and at the same time have formal degrees and then come into career outcomes what this enables is all these skills and formal degree enables is that one from a placements point of view scalar gives you access to all of the recruiters 1200 plus top recruiters that scalar works with and uh, honestly none of them really worry too much about degree they worry about how strong your profile is what kind of projects it has what kind of internships uh, how strong is your github profile 
and when you when you go through the SST curriculum, it automatically develops well for you. So you go through that, you get access to opportunities, and that's how you get great outcomes, which is what you see for the first batch, where 12 of them have got global internship offers, uh, high stipend of two lakhs per annum, etc. And you can check out this page, which is our entire placements page, and additionally. On this whole question of SST does not give a particular degree, how will our students succeed? There is a video that Anshuman Singh himself has created where he explains everything in depth. See it, there is a version in Hindi also exists that in case you need to show your parents. I hope this clears all your questions around the new admission process changes. Remember these steps are designed to understand you better, not to put you under any pressure. In case you still have any questions or need more clarity, feel free to reach out to our admissions team on this email ID or simply drop your questions in the comments below. We'll be happy to help. So all the very best for your preparation and we look forward to seeing you soon on campus.